So if you're watching this video, you might be wondering, should I go for a C1 or Lechino or they go for an R1 of the weapon? Now you might have already pulled, but now you might have gotten a C0 and you're like, hmm, should I go for a C1? Should I go for an R1? I will let you know shortly, okay? First thing is first, right? I want to show you guys the weapon. So we go to the weapon banner. I obviously lost. I lost to the first grade match. Hear me out. I'm not trying to cope, okay? I'm just just being really realistic. Her weapon is her best in slot by far. It is so, so good for her. The Bond of Life mechanic is just well worked into this weapon as well. You get a bunch of damage bonus through the Bond of Life thing as well as um, extra damage bonus here when you have more than 30% or greater or equal to, right? This is obviously her best in slot and it makes the weapon look fantastic. You wanna go for this weapon, it's not even a bad choice. The thing with this weapon is that it will be stuck on our Lechino. The reason for that is because you won't really use that main stat. You won't really use the, the Bond of Life thing. It's currently only on our Lechino and another weapon. I think it's like a catalyst, right? But only on our Lechino for now. You can't really use this on another individual until another Bond of Life whole arm user has the same thing. You might benefit from base attack and crit rate, right? You might be like, okay, that's kind of universal. You can use it on another character. They, they, they could use it. They could use the base attack and the crit rate. And for that, I'm going to say you're not wrong. But if you're going to do that, might as well just use the Primordial Jade Wing Spear. The same crit rate as Crimson Moon. It's the same thing. The only difference is that you could actually use the increase of attack here on the main stat. Versus you can't use the Bond of Life thing or any other character and that is a massive massive thing to think about when going for a weapon you might be like oh it's gonna stay on Arles Gino anyway well if it's gonna stay on Arles Gino fine okay I agree with you I tried to go for the R1 of the weapon but I failed the only reason I wanted to go for that R1 is for it to look like a scythe okay let me just show you real quick what my primordial jade wing spear looks like with Arles Gino look at that look at that this it's not exactly a scythe Kind of like a see-through thing and it just it doesn't look very appealing i'll be honest it just doesn't by having the crimson moon you could have a whole scythe to go with our Lucino. it makes her look fantastic it makes her look so good and that's why i wanted it now because of the base attack now because of the crit rate i already have from the jailing square it's so much better because you can use it on so many characters that is the only reason. Obviously, maybe in the future they add a polearm character that has Bond of Life. That is a big possibility. But for now, we only have our Lechino. And it's going to be stuck on her forever. Now, we're going to talk about Constellation. Something that is actually stuck on the character. Which one would be better? Would it be better to go for a C1? Or go for an R1? Both of which would just be on our Lechino. D1 gives our Lechino Mask of Red Death a further increase of value of 100%. What that means is on top of your current increase for your Mask of Red Death, which at level 8 is 205%, you get 100 on top. Really sure how much that is? It's an additional, I think, increase. So it might be 305%. Um, but if it's not, a, you know, just increase of a value of 100%, this might be even bigger than I thought. But I do think it's just additional, it's like they're in 5% now, which is still really, really massive. That is a big increase. Now for her total attack on top of all of this, I think the increase would be somewhere around 20%. Um, Don't quote me on that, I really don't know. But it is somewhere big and it's going to be more worth to go for this constellation over an R1 of her weapon. Obviously, if you're going for more refinements, that's a different story. But an R1 weapon versus this, I would go with this. The only you get that big 100% is to get some interruption resistance. I think this might be more worth to go for over her R1. And that says something. That says something. That means you could go for a Jade Wing Spear and then see one of this. And you would already have a better R genome than an R1. That is crazy. That is pretty good. That means very, you, you could use a lot of weapons. That's all I'm saying. But you'll miss out on something. You'll miss out on how great the scythe is gonna look. But that's okay because her C1 just, it just makes up for it. It makes it really strong. Okay, obviously I could talk about the other constellations being really, really good, like C2 and C3, 
you get a normal attack increase on C3. C2 gives you 900% of her attack as AoE for one of like her ultimates. And then yeah, C6 is just broken. Let's just not talk about that. But yeah, C1, really, really good on R Lucino. Personally, I tried going for the R1 just for the aesthetic and that's it. But what I would recommend is going for a C1 over an R1 if you only care about how well it works with Arlecchino and how good Arlecchino can be. That is that is the only reason. But if you want aesthetics, you want Arlecchino to look cool, go for the R1. But yeah, that is pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Let me know. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon.